Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, we are the new uh, strategies and business models team, and we want to share with you uh, what we've been doing during this uh, well, these months. Uh, first, well, just a, a short overview on the on the agenda. And please, if you have any question, uh, just put it in the in the chat, and we try to solve them in the Q and A part uh, in the in the end of the of the session. So please, uh, and if it is very urgent, just interrupt me. No problem. Uh, let's begin with with a bit of uh, the context. Okay, so you know that we all are part of the global initiatives for positive impact. Uh, that is a, an initiative itself uh, launched by Antonio. And the main goal of this initiative is to harness the power of our networks, volunteering networks. Uh, we, we are a, a nonprofit uh, group in order to address the global crisis and help uh, as many individuals as possible. So this is our, uh, our frame because we are a part of this uh, global uh, group. And from uh, our vision, we uh, stated that uh, we should focus on small businesses mainly and try to make them go from survive to thrive. So all of our work has been done in order to first try to identify those businesses, help them survive, and once they have survived, uh, try to help them uh, thrive. Okay, that's uh, over, uh, our overall vision. Uh, <clears throat> so in order to do that, uh, we are a uh, a, a group of people. Uh, I don't know if uh, Terry is, is, is there. Uh, if he wants to uh, to participate here, uh, he, he can jump in. If not, I, I will uh, share with you. He's not Terry there, so I will I will do by myself. Uh, here you can see these are the the group of, of people uh, with more or less interaction because it, as a volunteering uh, group we we can uh, invest uh, sometimes more, sometimes less, but just to let you know, we uh, we have been meeting weekly uh, for these months and developing a task in, a task in, in parallel. So uh, here, Terry is, is joining. Uh, sorry, I'm at the same time, uh, I'm meeting people and it's a bit tricky to do all together. Okay. And everyone is, is in. So uh, so this is this is the team, and and we uh, we follow this this um, this frequency. We we meet uh, weekly, and we deliver with the with a previous agenda. We work within the the week, and then we share the results. So we are uh, well organized, and I, I will share you now the different lines that we have been exploring. Okay, so uh, Terry, you want to share something? Please uh, jump in. Eh? It's, it's... Thank you, and sorry for being late. My somehow my link was corrupt, so I had to ask around to see who who was uh, watching their LinkedIn messages. So I apologize for being late, and um, I want to thank everyone that's on today for um, being who you are and being connected to this world project uh, that Antonio has so geniusly put together. And these different uh, check-ins of each of the groups is, is fantastic. And I just wanted to acknowledge that all of you take a piece of that uh, with you daily. And as we go through the presentation today, if you would please just be open to thinking of those people in your realm, in your networks, who may want to get involved in new strategies and business models for different reasons. Uh, we have need for a, lot, a number of different types of people. We're about to expand as you will listen here in just a little bit about how the surveys will be sent out uh, globally, et cetera. So thank you for coming today and uh, we'll be around for Q&A in a little while. Juan? Yeah, uh, so well, here just as we will share the, the presentation. So if you want to have some uh, any, any contact from the people, you have all the LinkedIn uh, addresses here and we have all different backgrounds uh, just uh, a 
a request. If someone has a digital uh, computing background, it's something that we need. So if some of you are uh, experts in, 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 in digital issues, it will be very helpful for us to have some of you uh, uh, on board. So let's jump to the, uh, to the challenges. What we have, we, we need to help uh, businesses overcome this situation. This is our main uh, target. So uh, in, in order to do so, we need to follow uh, some guidelines. First, we want to have a, uh, to provide global access to what we offer. So this, that means that we don't want to leave anyone behind, meaning their uh, location, their language, uh, their knowledge about business. So it, it, it means that we, we try to be in terms of uh, people agnostic. Uh, we want everyone to be able to jump in. So it, it conditions uh, our way to express. So we try to avoid very technical language. Uh, also to facilitate the access and to be aware that uh, we may receive people from very different uh, backgrounds. So that's one of our uh, guidelines. Uh, second is to be useful. We can do a lot of things, but if they, ha if don't, if they don't make an impact on businesses, that's a problem for us. So uh, we try to be quite clear and be useful. Also, we try to give support. And this has a, a, a twofold um, as, uh, well, uh, a deep dimension. On the one hand, we try to give a rational and support in terms of knowledge, tools, uh, insights, whatever. On the other side, uh, we realize that business owners and, and, and business representatives need also a, a bit of inspiration, a bit of hope, because sometimes they find in a situation that is hard and they don't have uh, someone to, 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 to comment that. So uh, one of the points is also to build a bit of hope, show that people are uh, overcoming the situation. And if someone has been able to do that, uh, why don't you can do that? So that's one of our aims too. And finally, uh, we are aware that we are a volunteering group that we want to do many things and that we really want to make an impact. At the same time, we, we try to, uh, to, to keep uh, the, the expectation realistic and to do something which is scalable and to begin with, bit, uh, with bits and, and then grow and grow and grow, but not over promise, okay? That's uh, part of uh, the... <clears throat> Uh, the, the, the planning uh, and, and our guidelines. So in order to do so, what do we uh, do? We try to have a clear understanding of the reality. We, we try to, uh, to make business owners aware of their reality. Second, uh, we try to provide already tested measures and, and results. Uh, so people can uh, directly put them in their in their own uh, businesses we also try to find tools that are useful so not only measures and, and tricks that, that someone has already used but also uh, tools and apps that are already there normally for free and can be useful in order to just use them and finally uh, this uh, group also is involved in, in giving practical support in a direct interaction like we did with Lily Pink in, in, in previous sessions and uh, during the past uh, weeks. So uh, just to uh, set the, the, the dimensions, we are offering the three of the, 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 the three first uh, aims in an open way because we, we can do them uh, openly for everyone everywhere but the last one the practical support can only be done uh, on demand so uh, these are this is uh, something to be taken into account because uh, the first part can be automated the second part cannot so this is something that uh, we want to underline and in order uh, in order that you can have uh, a visualization of this 
we will show a diagram that can help. First, we want to have a worldwide impact, that's clear. Second, mainly it should be done through online access. Uh, we are uh, involved in the development of the, of the Global Group website that uh, well, it's uh, ongoing. But as, uh, as for now, we already have uh, a, a LinkedIn page for the Global uh, Initiative and also a, a, and a showcase page which is linked with the previous one for our uh, team. So we will begin to share things through this page. Okay. So based on this, please, uh, if you have the possibility, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, follow this. You have the, the links here and you have uh, also the links uh, in the presentation we will send. So please follow this, this, uh, these channels because they will help you uh, be informed about our our uh, advances. Uh, our main uh, initiatives, and we will describe them one by one afterwards with the, the living ones explaining what we have been doing. Uh, we want to create an integrated uh, framework with the knowledge uh, of the businesses will, that will be built in uh, through this survey with the self-assessment self of the businesses. So business owners can know how they are in a benchmark against other business uh, in the world. And then as we create a, a, a strong database, we will be able to cluster and segment uh, more and more this information. So the more data we have, the more able we will be to provide a better benchmark to, uh, to the business owners. So it's something that we are building. Uh, success stories, which is aimed at creating a base of um, stories that can show how other people did. So they, they are providing both the information and the inspiration. And a resources library that will uh, contain all the resources, the apps, the tools that we think are useful for the uh, for the business in order to help them overcome uh, this this situation. All this is now very manual. We expect to be uh, more uh, automated and integrate in a database that make everything work in a digital way and make it accessible to everyone everywhere through the uh, the web. So we have that, and this is our uh, let's say open an automated uh, offer, which is still manual because we are uh, well, uh, in, in the initial stage. And then we have the on-demand uh, offer, which is the business huddle, uh, the, the direct uh, contact with, the, with a company like we did with Lilliping that we include here because we think it is very useful in order to to create engagement and to have real impact on the on the businesses uh, on a personal basis. So this is our overall framework. You can see we have three different uh, pillars: the resource library, full of resources that could be directly uh, used by the, the businesses all around the world; the survey with all the information from the businesses, and we can benchmark them, and they can benchmark against their own. Uh, their own country, their own sector, or whatever, and we are we have to build the database because we already have the survey. And finally, the success stories that are aimed at helping both in an informational way, so people can get real knowledge from there and uh, learn uh, measures, and also inspiration from it. That's uh, our online uh, potential, and then we have our on-demand potential, which is helping a specific business with a structure uh, sessions and, and making them overcome. Okay, that's for now the whole view. Okay, so as if, you, if we visualize this, uh, now we will explain each of these aspects. So we first will uh, begin, sorry, 
with the survey, explaining you how we did it and what we need. We then describe the success stories library, then the resources library, and we will end with the uh, business huddle uh, initiative. Okay, so let's begin with the elements. The first one is the, sol uh, the survey, which is used for the self-assessment of the, of the um, businesses. And here, uh, uh, I have to give a big thank you to Yolanda, who has been uh, working on the, on the survey and producing everything. And we, it's been, a, a, let's say, a group uh, work, but then all the, the hard work in SurveyMonkey has been done by, by our uh, colleague Yolanda Rubio. So, Thank you very much for the, this big effort. You will see this in, in a minute. Why we do, we, we do this uh, survey? In order to know the reality, in order to know the reality in, rea in, in businesses all around the world. So <clears throat> we try to give the possibility to businesses to, to benchmark themselves against other businesses. Okay, that's our main aim. Once this is completely built, now we are, let's say, doing baby steps and we need to create the database. How is a 12 minutes, six, 60 question survey? It's, it's not short, but it's not long. It's uh, very useful and we ask everyone to, uh, to fulfill it. What we will uh, generate? A report. Normally it, it would be a, a customized uh, automated report once we have the capability. As for now, we can build a periodic uh, general reports so people can have this information and well in exchange of their time they can download the report and what do we need now build the initial database because we have nothing now we only have the uh, survey this is something that we will share with you because today is our launch so you are you are the first people in the world that can see this and then can participate in that. So uh, you can feel honored and we feel uh, honored that you are the, the first because uh, for us it's important to share first among our people and then the, we, we can approach the rest of the world. So here it is the, um, uh, the link and we will paste the link too in the, in the, uh, in the chat so you can directly uh, fulfill it and uh, we will ask you to share this and to encourage your colleagues to fulfill this because we have we have a challenge and we will share the challenge just in, in a couple of minutes. Just to let you know the survey is formed by five sections. A first section which is our segmentation section that provides us the possibility to link the survey with the uh, sorry, the, um, the, the resources and to the success story. So if I am a bar that I am in, in France and I want to, uh, and I do my survey, uh, probably in the future when we have enough information, we can provide suggestions based in the location, the type of industry, and we can provide, please check this tool or please check this uh, success story. Okay, that is the, the idea of having a, a initial segmentation section. Then background information, business and operation and information, uh, the impact, the expectation, the context of the crisis and the challenges, okay? And here you have the main, the, the, the main pages of the survey. This is, this is the work of Yolanda. So uh, I hope it is, just, uh, uh, is successful in getting the, the content. And what I see is at least it is appealing uh, from a visual point of view. So. I'm very happy with this. So this is just for you to, to see the result, okay? These are the different, and just a call to action. We need you to fulfill the survey and we ask you to encourage your colleagues to fulfill it. We have our internal target is to have 500, uh, sorry, 500 surveys in August. So we are able to produce our report by October with the content of the survey and deliver to anyone that is willing to receive it. Because the first question is, do you want to receive the report? We don't collect any personal data. It's optional, 
if you want to receive the report, you will receive it. If not, it will be download downloadable from our website when it is prepared, and probably by October it will be. So I think I've been quite uh, intensive now in, in attention. I will pass the the, the micro to uh, to my colleagues Glenn and Juan Carlos, so they can explain a bit of the Success Stories Library uh, initiative. So please jump in. Uh, Glenn, are you there? I'm here now. Um, somehow I got kicked out. Oh, I know. It, it, it wasn't me. Eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, Juan Carlos is here in case if it, you know if something happens to my connection. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the success stories library. Go ahead. Oh yes. Yeah, so uh, we're trying to uh, use. Can you hear me? Okay, now. Yeah, perfectly. Okay, good. So we're trying to use already um, uh, tested methods that have been, you know, demonstrated, say, in an example um, in a newspaper or even better, a successful business owner and try to put their story into, you know, a database. Um, we do, we have a template. So it's, it's a form that includes um, 10 questions and it should be able to be filled out in about 10 minutes. But um, it also has a, a section for, uh, for example, photos, websites, you know, things that will connect people to um, that business that's successful. It also has um, a section to explain your story and that can take a while. So it depends on, you know, what details the people want to add to the, to the, uh, to the form uh, to fill it out. So it could take longer. Um, we want to, um, explain the success story to anyone in the world. So you can imagine a small business like Mario um, trying to figure out, you know, with M&G and Lily Pink, trying to figure out like, how do I make my store safe from the virus, for example, so that I can open. So that would be um, things like, you know, you know, plastic templates uh, or, or uh, plates that you know, are in front of the cash, cash register um, so that people don't, um, you know, uh, transmit the virus, uh, wearing masks. Um, they now actually have a system in place where you can make an appointment to go inside the store and they only allow one person in the store at a time uh, where they used to have, of course, just open shopping. So that's the kind of the, an example of, um, you know, how they're doing it. And so once we have that in the database, anybody could search on the database and they could see whether or not they can find somebody who has a similar situation to what they have, and hopefully they can look at the story and be copy or use it and use the ideas to, um, you know, to improve their business and open or survive and, and then move on to thrive. So um, we need a lot of stories and we need your help to, um, to fill those out. So yeah, so we're, what we're doing is we're trying to go from surviving to thriving, right? And so to survive, you really need some income. You really have to keep the store open, right? Um, and we also are really um, using the metrics of uh, em employees. So we want to get people back to work. So all these small businesses are just failing all over the United States right now, just terribly. And we want to have them stay open so they get, you know, some income and then thrive. You know, change, maybe they have to pivot. Maybe they have to change into something else. Um, and that's what the business canvas um, and the, the huddle does for them. So um, this is our, our basically our metrics on how we keep track of whether or not people are surviving or thriving. <clears throat> We're going to share the free content and some of this uh, Juanma already covered. Um, the, the, whoops. Okay, we'll go on to the value proposition. Um, we are using ideas that already work. So we're calling it the don't reinvent the wheel situation. And uh, we have the advisors available, you know, obviously we're volunteers that can help. And then we try to lead them into the self assessment survey. And I'll show, show you that in a minute here and create a funnel of people who in businesses that want to, uh, you know, thrive. Okay, next one. 
So um, this is the uh, pillar that um, Juan Ma was talking about and how are we doing it? So we have a form, it's complete now and a thank you to the team, especially to uh, Uvita for helping with the format. Like I said before, it's 10 questions and it allows you to you know, answer the questions so that we have a place where we can go into a, a database and we can search for our type of business and look for specifics that would relate to the person who needs the help, okay? Okay, um, and it can come from newspapers, that's easy. And then also personal experiences and really the most important would be to come from a business owner to explain what they've done. Um, long term, we want it to be searchable. We want it to be um, automated, of course. Right now it's manual. And uh, we'd like to have a summary report easily come out. And this is where we need help. We need more people to help us. And um, we want also in this, it says, do you want help? Do you want to thrive? And that leads them into the survey, which is part of the, the huddle business um, canvas process. Okay, next one. And this is um, just kind of a, a, a process flow, right? So you submit, hopefully it's an owner, but anyone can submit a success story. And then we will manually review it and edit it if needed, you know, make sure that, you know, the spelling and, you know, grammar and make sure that there isn't anything unusual in there. Um, and it, the person has a choice. They can either request help or they can um, not request help, right? So if they don't request help, then it just, basically gets published to the database. If they ask for help, then we send them the survey, which um, Awama just explained. And with that survey, then they can enter into the business canvas process to, to thrive. So that's kind of just a, a little bit of detail there. Next one. Uh, so here's some examples. Um, you might've seen some of these before. Um, you know, the gym open for business. Obviously, in, in, in the United States, um, they had to, you know, schedule and you know, only so many people in at a time. Now they've actually required them to actually work out outside. So those are kind of, you know, ways to get around or to avoid the virus. Um, we opened up the museum uh, Midway, um, which was closed for a long time by, you know, more hand sanitizer stations. They, you actually have to make a reservation, you know, things that weren't being done before. Um, Lily Pink did a lot of things, and you can look at the, um, uh, just in a, in a minute here, we'll, we'll have a showcase of, uh, of their situation. And then, uh, you know, a business like uh, wedding planning, I mean, people weren't doing this, right? And now they're doing it online, so they had to pivot their business. Next one. Uh, so here's the showcase. So this is um, M&G, which is, we call it Lily Pink. Um, the M&G is owned by Mario and his wife. And um, they went through the business canvas process. They were the first ones to do it and it was very successful. They were able to um, improve their profit. Well, first of all, they survived um, and they brought in income immediately with some of the brainstorms that we had with them. And then they actually have gone to thrive mode with 30% increase in profit, 15% increase in income. This is year over year. So even though they had the virus, they made more money eventually, okay? Um, because of the ideas that were created during the, the business canvas process. So, and also they increased their, um, oh my gosh, their, uh, the number of people that are following them on social media. So that was really important for the people who recommended, you know, using WhatsApp and that's how they're doing it. So you get an idea of the form, how it's filled out. Go ahead, next one. So here's um, where the big news really is, is the survive. Um, you know, they only have 70% of their employees back to work, but that's because um, the government in Colombia uh, has limited their hours. Otherwise, they would have their full employees back. Um, and they, in the first few months, they used WhatsApp to try to, to get some money to come in. So they still had 3% of their profits, um, but now they're really doing uh, extraordinarily well. Okay, next. And here's the big news for today, that they actually are ready to buy a new store. They're doing so well. So um, Mario is still in contact with us and we've been you know, uh, having meetings and things to you know, keep updated. So I think this is um, phenomenal. Next one. And here they are. So uh, Mario and his wife uh, at the Lily Pink store, that was their second store. And 
here's a personal message to inspire us all about his son, you know, working, you know, <laughs> that's what he's calling it, right? And um, he wanted to thank everyone for all the help that we've given. And um, he really appreciates what, what, what happened, you know, in a big way in his company. So our next step is to uh, have the database created. We want it to have search and report functionality. We want to get more people to visit and also to comment on the things that are in it, the content. Uh, and then we want people to sign up for your business canvas process so they can go to Thrive. And uh, in the future, we want to automate all this. So next one. And so, yeah, special thanks to the team. They constantly were reviewing the form, uh, you know, so that we had this blank um, form that they could fill out. Um, thank you for your inputs on that. Uh, Yovita actually helped a lot with the format on that. And Juan Carlos, my buddy, uh, we, we work constantly together to um, bounce ideas back and forth off of each other. And I just want to thank him also for that help. Oh yeah, last one. Um, so this is some more pictures of Lily Pink and M&G. Um, and you know, some of the details about their first store and, um, and his wife actually, um, and his father-in-law that is a senior advisor. So <clears throat> we want you to please fill out some success stories. We wanna try to get 50 stories in the next month. And um, the template is located there. Um, we'll make sure we get this published and uh, you can contact us at the, at the email. And that email is dedicated to, um, to going to um, the success stories. And we want some people to join us so that we can get this done, you know, actually create the database functionality. So we need those kinds of um, IT people as uh, one must tell them. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. I would love to uh, to say uh, thank you to uh, to Glenn that is uh, leading this together with with Juan Carlos because they've been doing a great a great uh, effort to have everything in place and to provide the uh, the, the forms and in, to include the the initial uh, success stories to contact with Mario. who has been a really, really, uh, well, a, a great, uh, great news that, that they are, uh, well, evolving so in, in a great way. So thank you very much, Glenn. And, and so let's see what, what's next. And what's next is the resources library. In this case, uh, we, we have not only to, to provide uh, access to, to the ideas and the measures, also, in a conversation in one of the group meetings, we uh, noticed that there are many, many resources out there, and uh, we can order them and offer them to the to the businesses because they might help them uh, well deal with their with their uh, needs. So, uh, in this case, we want to collect these tools and these apps and this whatever. Uh, identify them and, 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 and put them in a, in a way that can be accessed by anyone everywhere. And uh, we need to build this initial library. And all this uh, initiative was, uh, was identified in a conversation that Yolanda uh, showed uh, one of the, uh, the apps that uh, they, they are uh, offering in, in her company. And, as it was really uh, interesting uh, as, a, as a resource, I've asked her to share with you so you can see what kind of stuff we, we, we are expecting to find here. So uh, please, uh, Yolanda, uh, let us know a bit about uh, Daily OK. All right, thank you so much, Juan Manuel. Um, so with that, um, so the daily okay, so imagine this, just imagine just for a moment that you want to meet up with somebody after everything that's happened, you want to have a conversation over coffee and you start to have this, this anxiety or this thing. It's like, well, how am I going to tell my friend, like, have you taken your temperature? Are you okay today? 
um, you know, they're my friends, right? And how am I going to do that? Are they going to be offended? It's kind of awkward, right? So what about if I send them my app? So what the Daily OK does, in essence, it is a daily check-in. You check in with yourself via this mobile app that um, our team has developed. It's free to download um, on if you have an Android and Apple is soon to come um, on Friday. And it's a simple one minute check in. You go through it and then you can share it. You can text it through WhatsApp. You can text it through CMS. You can post it on Facebook, Instagram, any social media platform that you use. And you can let the world know that you're okay today. It's hard really to want to change the world because that's what we're doing here. We are here to put a positive impact in the world. But how do you do that and how do you start? Well, I don't wanna be cliche, but it actually starts with one, with me, with oneself. And if in the morning, you get up in the morning and you're daily okay and you can meet up with that person to have coffee, of course, with social distancing, norms in place, then maybe, then maybe we can start this new normal. But that starts with me. But what about businesses? So before I get into the business part, I would love to show you a video just to show you how simple this process really is. So if, one might, if I, you wouldn't mind, I can share my screen. Yeah. Thank I'm you. Sure. Yes. Just for a moment. It's, it's really good to see your faces because when you are sharing a screen, you, you are talking to a screen and it's, it's a, a real <laughs> nightmare. So here you go. Here is, so here it is. Here's the app. You put in your password, you log in and it says welcome. And then you click on that and you take this, the survey. You ask, have you experienced any of these symptoms in the last 24 hours? None. Next, have you taken, has any of this worsening, you know? No? Okay, next. Have you taken any acetaminophen, ibuprofen? Nope. Has a member in your household been detected with symptoms? Or in the last four days, have you been exposed to somebody who has flu? Or um, have you been tested? And if you have, you can enter the test state there and then you're, you're done, right? And then that's all, that's all it takes to put something into the world that you are okay. And then what happens? But what if you came across somebody from a business perspective and you, know, you wanted to, you wanted to, um, you just came, you know, they just came to your store and you're like, well, what do I do now, right? What do I do now that they're in my store? How do you engage your customers in also? And all you have to do is with this QR code that you have right here, you buy a simple scanner. It's less than $10 of scanners. And you put it at the, at the door of your store. And when somebody comes in, all they have to do is just scan that QR code over it. And they will let you know that they're okay to come into your store because you're taking care of your employees inside your store for them. And all you're asking them is in a very polite manner, if they can take care of those employees too. Not because, not because of anything, but because we're there to take care of each other and because we're humans and we need to be accountable for each other. And that is a movement. It's a movement to be okay and to check in with yourself. And if for any reason, after you take this test, you're not feeling okay, then you can take the precautions that you need to take, right? And we've already tested it out. We've been working with this company uh, in, in Kansas City, um, he owns a moving company called You're the Boss. And um, he's very excited about using it um, because there's no forgiveness for a second time around without preparation. We may have been forgiven this time around about not being prepared for COVID. It was such a devastating thing that happened to all of us, but there is no forgiveness for a second time around not being prepared. So help us. Help us to move forward and build a new normal from our businesses to our own selves. And this actually well rounds very much the package of information and of tools and resources that we're offering and that we have built so lovingly for everybody 
um, and with so much passion and so much fun. I mean, really, we have had so much fun doing all of this, doing the, the Lily Canvas and building the, the survey and the success stories and having this amazing passion and this vision that even in these trying times is when we can come together as people and really make a difference. And um, with that, I... Um, We'll and with the... that, we can, we can uh, launch our call to action because uh, this is something that Yolanda shared with us. And what we need is to, uh, to, to have more of this. Yes. So uh, if you find this kind of, of uh, resources, if you are uh, knowledgeable about that, uh, please let us know uh, because we have a target of 50 resources by October. It can be uh, an app, it can be a tool that helps to do something. Uh, it's uh, something that is helping businesses to, uh, to work smoother and, and in, a, in a nicer way will be helpful. So please, if you know something that can help other businesses and is available and for free, please let us know. Okay, that's our uh, call to action in the resources library. Uh, on top of this, uh, now uh, we've been talking about the, the Lily Ping, the Pilot and the Canvas. So yes, we will just go over it. Most of you may uh, have the information, but uh, some of you perhaps are not aware of this. So uh, what is that? This is a, a different kind of, of uh, different kind of uh, approach. In this case, we deal with just one uh, company, one business uh, that is willing to uh, face the, the situation by sharing it with a group of people, in this case us, and we try to generate uh, the, uh, together with them the options to overcome the current situation and to imagine and to be um, ambition the, the future situation. We, it's exactly what we did with uh, Mario in M&G Philippine. So in this case, we've built a structured process that was already tested with Lily Pink. We have improved it. And I, I have to announce that we will have another pilot in October. It's something that uh, we already uh, commented with Antonio. So just I, I let you know that. Uh, what is uh, going on here? Here is something simple, it's three steps. Uh, first step, describing the business and what to do in the short term. A uh, second step, which is uh, dealing with the long term. And a final step for the implementation, that this is new. And uh, here, this is a, 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 another issue, with an, another announcement. We will be working with the coaching group in helping with the vision. And we are already uh, defining how to implement uh, in collaboration with, uh, with Ricardo from the, from the PMO group. So we are trying to integrate the knowledge in the different groups in, in, the, in, the global, uh, in the global initiative and helping as much as possible. Uh, I don't think we should go uh, step by step because this is uh, a bit long and, and it's... Uh, quite late, so I just will show you the results that we got from Lily Pink. So you can see what we did. First, we asked uh, Mario to describe his situation and uh, also uh, what are uh, his challenges So um, in, in the, the company. So the, we, we received something like this. And based on that, we built the, the canvas. So uh, in this canvas, we uh, uh, indicated those aspects that weren't uh, available due to the COVID. So from what you are doing now, what you, can, you cannot uh, keep doing because of the situation, and then imagine what else to do in order to overcome these, these problems. So in the, in the yellow uh, canvas, we had all the new things to do in the short term to survive as a uh, we pointed at the beginning, first we are looking at surviving, and then once you have survived, you will thrive. But up to now, uh, is focusing first on surviving. Okay, and 
in in order to look for the long term we will we we work on a, a scenario matrix for the possibilities in the future for the the kind of business that we work with with lily Ping, and we also define these options for the future and uh, this is one of the main elements that mario was uh, interested because as we define together with him a vision for the future he was able to integrate the decisions today with the future that he he uh, he, he de uh, defined with us so that's something that was really relevant and it's been really fulfilling to see uh, how uh, Mario was uh, grateful to us uh, about the, the, the resource he got and how collaborative he is, how uh, willing to share all he has done um, in order to help others. So this is what we did and this is what we aim to do now in, in October. So now what we need from you is if you know someone that is willing to, to go through this process, just let us know. And if you are uh, available in October, there will be uh, two or three se uh, uh, sessions in order to help this uh, business uh, analyze the survive uh, options and the future, the thrive options. Okay, so this is what we, uh, we are so if we our target is having five candidates by september to pick one for october and then having at least 20 people attending these sessions it was a, a very uh, interactive and uh, quite interesting session last time so we expect that it's even better because we will count on with uh, the support of uh, the other groups and and we will make it uh, even better so as for now, this is what we have. Uh, now the turn uh, for some uh, questions, if you want. Does anyone just please uh, unmute and, and ask the question? Just as a quick aside, thank you again for staying in uh, with this. And uh, we cut this presentation back quite a bit. So, you know, it, it, we're doing a lot here, and a couple of you have reached out. Thank you for doing so, and we, we, will, we will connect very quickly. Um, and uh, so please, questions. And we can stay later if you like, or, or you can reach out to us via LinkedIn, and we can talk more. Um, I don't really have a question, but I just want to commend the team for some um, excellent work. Um, and I can see your growth and I can see the potential to do something really, really great um, across the board. So congratulations for a job well done and for something that's very useful. Uh, I know plenty of businesses that could use it if they were open, unfortunately. Um, you know, there's a lot of issues here with businesses being closed permanently. But I, I definitely see the use and congratulations for doing um, some excellent work, amazing work. Thank you, Diana. Uh, Juan, uh, I'd, I'd like to suggest that create a template for a post that you could share in our social media and bring uh, the target uh, to cases and, and surveys. Uh, I think uh, we should have a, a standard post to have all the information in the same post, not each one create one. I think it would be useful to have just one post as a template to share this information to our our, our social media, LinkedIn, and, and so on. Well, in fact, uh, we our intention is to to have all these in the website. So most of the information will be in the Global Initiatives for Positive Impact website, and uh, even uh, our uh, page is a showcase page integrated in the uh, main page. So we try to be together with the big group because. It's about synergies and about visibility and, and about 
uh, being well uh, as wide as possible. So I completely follow your your recommendation, and and we will need to to define um, among the groups how to best uh, take advantage of of uh, the all the information and development we, we do together because every single group is adding something and we should integrate that. So it's something that uh, is, is in the in the menu for the next <laughs> weeks, I think, for Antonio <laughs> to think about yeah. that and for yeah. us to yeah. help him. And Mark has a is, question. Yeah, I think it's about the communication. We have to be careful with the communication. I think yeah, there's, yes, completely. there's still a pillar of, of everything that you know about something that almost goes wrong when the communication is not so good. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Mark, you had a question? I do have a question. Am I unmuted? Uh, let me take off uh, these and turn them off. The, um, I, had a, I used to be many, many years ago at the Boston Consulting Group uh, when it was infinitely smaller. We had 11 offices. It was just more or less starting up. And then um, it went through uh, this huge expansion and today it's, it's very big all over the world. And that was kind of strange to me is well, why would they buy other consulting firms and why would they do this? And recently I had a conversation with my old um, office mate who had gone through and become a very big person at BCG. And here's what he said to me that's so interesting. He said, what we learned is that it was not about our content, it was about distribution. And so BCG had and probably still has, you know, lots of interesting proprietary content. And they had a nice, you know, some ways of presenting that content to people. What they learned was that they had to expand globally in the way that they did it, you know, offices everywhere. Uh, and that's how they could get what they want, what they had to the people and by the way, make money at it. Um, and so the question that I have is how are you thinking this? It's, it's lovely. I love hearing what you did. I think you've done tremendous work. I think it's, it can be helpful to many people. How do you distribute it? Putting it on a website, getting it is, is nothing. Um, it, it just isn't enough. People in this world, you need to be extremely proactive in helping people understand that they need what you offer. And the people who are good at that will succeed. The people who are not good at that may have the most wonderful products in the world, but they will stay very small. So that is just my question is, you know, what about distribution? Well, uh, first, uh, I, I would see, uh, I would approach this uh, in, in, in a way that is somehow different to, to the Boston Consulting Group because we are not a for-profit uh, initiative. So that's something that, that is relevant in terms of uh, in terms of a uh, model. Uh, second, yes, it's, it's true that we need to to improve our our uh, way to communicate. Uh, the point is that we have a strong uh, network. So uh, one of the main uh, assets that we have in the beginning is the network. So what we need, and I link this with uh, with Andres' comment, is less let's take advantage of the network, let's take advantage of the communication means like uh, Paula stated in the, in, the, in the chat, the hot suite or whatever, in order to have a very good uh, communication strategy and to make this visible because this is volunteering, this is a non-for-profit initiative and we will offer what we can offer. But uh, uh, what we have and is for free is our capability to reach others through our networks. And this is uh, this is this session today is the the example of that. That Antonio one day woke woke up and said, "Well, we have to do something." And after several months, you can see what he have done because it's his uh, initiative. So if everyone is able to 
to have the same pay, uh, passion, I think we are able to reach virtually every, everywhere. Yes, and that's a, that's a good place to add to, uh, Mark, the fact that just five people in this network of, of 30 people right here, right now, were to share a content post that we put out to their network. We're off li in LinkedIn right now, that could mean upward of 180, 000, 180 million people, depending on the network connections. So there is the opportunity to expand with the idea of my so might as well step in, this is my final call to action, and that is please like, react, and share everything you see from all of the groups here at, at PGI, because that is the way that we get it out there and we can do the, the, the most impact. We're a small group, we're not, we're not profit, but we have huge impact potential in a, in a marketplace that the, our target market is right here in LinkedIn, for the most part around the world. And so we need to take, we get to take advantage of that in every opportunity. Thank and you. And we have an honest purpose. And that's also, I think that that's is right. valuable nowadays because you see many, many initiatives that are ill, that are sick. And then here you can see honesty. And that's, I, as well, this is my personal view. I, I value that too much because it's, it's incredible how honesty and, and uh, solidarity is is pushing people to move. I'm just going to add a couple of other things, if, if Please, that's okay. I, I, would like, I would like to respond at the end, but fine. Sorry, I just, I just want to add a couple of other things. I, I don't want to, you know, steal your thunder. You, you've done really great work. So I, the fact that it's a nonprofit organization, there are just a couple of things. The Hootsuite is a, is a content management platform. That's a freemium model. That's what uh, Juan Manuel was saying. So there's a link in the chat. Um, so you can provide consistent messaging across all platforms instantaneously or at the hour of your designation. So it goes instantly across all platforms, say at three o'clock in the morning. Um, uh, so that's, that's an easy one. That's an automation thing for you that you can use yourselves. Um, the other thing is as a nonprofit organization, you might want to consider how your business uh, model or framework is aligned to the SDGs, to the uh, social development goals. So the reason why I say this is because for any type of support, whether it's government or uh, business incubator support um, or anything of that sort, they are looking for that alignment of your, of your vision and mission and your strategies. So something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Another thing to keep in mind too, uh, look at it from, say, the business perspective, how your businesses are going to go to on the Thrive ramp is how their businesses, and the, posing the question to them, how their businesses are aligning with world economic models. Like, for example, regenerative, regenerative uh, industries or regen regenerative practices, looking at uh, markers that uh, um, uh, see how a business is... Uh, uh, indexed within, say, the, the donut economics model, for example. Those are things that you want to keep in mind as um, challenges for the businesses when you're, when you're looking at them to thrive. How are they going to thrive, but in the new world economic reality and business models? So just, uh, just a few things to keep in mind that you might want to integrate into your presentation. One. That last one was the, the main, the main uh, aspect that we consider in order to ask uh, the coaching group to, to jump in when creating the vision. So uh, it's something that is, it, we are aware that we will compete in a very different world and we have to, to ambition this. Yes, Mark, please. May I, may I just respond and, and I, I, that's all I have to say. Everything that you said Juan Manuel and that Paula said are all good parts of your product, but it is not about the product. When I think of the not-for-profit world, I think about schools, education, if you will. Plenty of people out there have really interesting, good ideas, and they can, they're small groups, and we get, occasionally some of them get a little traction like a Steiner or a Montessori or, or something like that. Most of them don't. And the reason they don't is because they are not out there finding the customers that 
would respond to the kind of offering they have. So my last thing that I'm going to leave you with is you can build the great product. I, you have built the great, or you've at least started that. You can put it on social media and, and contact all these people that are in your network. But if you are not focused on finding the customers who need this and want this and reaching them and convincing them that they should come to you, you will not get very far in my opinion. Crystal clear. Okay. I hope I have. Perfect. No, thank you very much. It's, it's, and it's, it's completely true. So um, <clears throat> I have a comment. Is your aim though um, to really provide a quality and attention? Um, in other words, it's an advantage to be a smaller group that's focused on a business and can give it the quality and attention that at some point, if you get too many businesses at one time, you, you would have to rely on something that's more automated. I kind of like the hands-on, the minds-on, um, and the, the closeness that you were able to offer to Lily Pink. Um, so if you did this broad, massive campaign, you might lose the quality in the meantime, um, unless you actually grew to that. So. Yes. The point is, is how we, we, we are able to keep a, a, a model that is delivering something useful. So that's why we included the, let's say, the automation and the online, the open aspect. So people can, by themselves, get this. Uh, it's not the same quality, but is something useful. If we are able to build a powerful database, we will be able to deliver really, really precise benchmark, which is useful at the end of the, end of the, of the day. If we are able to create those uh, success stories that are helpful and uh, mm -hmm. giving inspiration, we will inspire. If we are able to select and identify the best uh, tools and provide them, we will be uh, successful. And then from time to time, we, we, we can deliver this, the, the same kind of uh, service or product or whatever you want to call it as Lily Pink. And there's then uh, th there are different options to address that. If we, we can create uh, regional groups, we, but we are not at this stage. We are now uh, baby steps. And what we need now is to launch the survey to ask you to provide us with uh, candidates for uh, for the, the process in October, uh, identify the tools, and to generate this. We are not still in the way in, in the in, in in the position to jump. We are now in the in the position to do the baby steps and um, build something that can be scalable. So that's that's the point. Well, one uh, just to be clear with Diana, uh, we. There's no plan to not be interpersonal one-on-one -on -one for the Canvas process. That that'll always be that way. We don't want to automate that. I mean that that's. I mean we, but we need more people. So if we get a hundred people that want to go through that process, then we're going to need you know a lot more people like yourself to join us. And and you may have to actually go to a training to know how to do the Canvas process so that you can help other businesses. Does that also, you know, we're, we are we are in the process of uh, talking and, and putting it out there that a cor corporate partnership of some sort would be certainly uh, welcome to have a discussion and corporate sponsorships can give us that uh, ability to then put a wider uh, message out. And, and so all of this, you know, in my opinion, we're doing great. We're, we're moving along pretty still pretty fast, though some people may not think so. Well, I believe we are. And, you know, we're all at that point now where each of our groups per se have got the baseline set. Now it's time to go in and start bringing it in and having those discussions with who knows who. This is a pandemic. Maybe, maybe it's Sealand. Maybe it's Pujo. Maybe it's uh, Maserati. 
Maybe it's uh, Joe and Bob's uh, grill chain in Midwest United States. Whoever it is, I think when the message gets out there, you'll attract people who would be interested in becoming part of that. So, uh, and, and a lot of us have some corporate connections that we're working on. So we'll see where, where it goes. Well, one step, uh, one step at a time. Thank you. Yeah, you completely follow. Uh, as we are a bit late because uh, we mm -hmm. are supposed to, we were supposed to end uh, by by six and taking advantage that you are talking right now. Would you mind to give the the final wrap up in in two minutes? Ah, sorry, Antonio. Well, the, the boss has raised his hand. So <laughs> please, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not the boss. I don't feel like the boss. I think well, we the are, pioneer. <laughs> we are, there are no bosses here. We all. Uh, this is a network. Uh, I want to just thank you. I think when we started this four months ago, nobody had the clue what we were going to do. We just wanted to do some things, and it's an experiment. It's an experiment of how people try to help when there's a need. Uh, Lebanon last week. Um, and, and how can we help when there's a need, when you're not close to the field? And for me, it's exceeding my expectations. I can share with you quickly uh, what was well done last week by Rosina, uh, the central logo. Now we have a beautiful logo with express very well. And then Juanma just took it and made four. And you see now it starts looking like a corporation, it starts looking like something with an entity, with a soul and a vision. So I, I don't have a big expectations. I think the best of this project is that there is no expectation. And we should just continue doing what we feel like where we can contribute. And if things that we build will add value, they will come to us. Um, we're not need to marketing ourselves like a business. We are not a business. We're here to help. And I believe on the power of the network. I believe that we're, not, we're going to be successful not because of our marketing plan with zero budget. Uh, we're going to be successful because we bring passion, we bring help. We have great contacts who are listening to us and we'll open the door. So I, I'm, I'm very happy so far with the work done. And I never expected, I think nobody in this call expected that we would have this. I'm working with Marshall Goldsmith very closely. He called it now, he, he told me yesterday, he wants to do knowledge philanthropy. And uh, with all his content, with all his material, his books, his video, he said, can you do that project for us? So I'm helping that. But we're doing here knowledge philanthropy. That's it, knowledge and network philanthropy. It's a new term, it's a new world. We don't have a clue where it's going to get us. So let's enjoy the ride. Let's do the best we can. And then we'll see. I think now we're talking to South Africa, thanks to YAP. And things will come up along the way. That's for sure. If we keep the momentum, keep the passion, and keep delivering such a high quality work, it's just amazing. And this is on top of all the things that we have to do in our busy life. So, uh, thank you, team. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. This is like Mark was saying, BCG type of quality. And, and I'm very confident this will lead to something that might be replicated for the future. And uh, I look forward to the next session on the coaching. So I thought you wanted to wrap it up from your side, but from my side, well done, amazing job. And we'll keep pushing and having fun. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So I, I leave the stage to to Terry, and just I will share the the screen just to a short wrap up, and we finish in two minutes. What okay. we do affects lives one at a time. We're not out to change a climate. We're not out to change the the world per se, but we're out to help. And wherever and whenever we can do that, in whatever means. If it's a simple smile to a person that you walk by as you cover your mouth, they know you're smiling. They can see your smile in your eyes. Each of you take a moment to smile today 
at yourself in the mirror first because you should love yourself first before you give love. That way you can give valid love and receive it. What we're asking for here is what you already know in your hearts by, by being connected to Antonio and this great, beautiful uh, movement that we have started today. One step at a time, one person at a time, we will change lives and we will help the greater good. That's why I'm here and that's why I'm so honored to be part of this. We thank you for, for listening in today and your, your great feedback because we all need feedback regularly. And we need you, whether it's just sharing our comments or, or just talking about it on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or wherever you want to talk. Because we are limited in a world, but we can reach a large part of the world one way or another, one person at a time. Thank you very much. And, and do get involved with us if you, if you feel the need. One or two of you have said so already. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you very much. And here you have the contact info. Uh, if you want to join us, we are always open to, uh, to have uh, any of you on board because um, the more hands we have, the, the faster we will advance. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you very much to the team because it's been a, a hard work and they've been, they've been doing a really, really incredible uh, work uh, putting this together and, 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 and going all the way. So thank you very much and see you next Thursday with the coaching group. Thank you very much.